chapter 4, lesson 2, is percent change. Okay, so here, um, I'll give my formula. Percent change is new minus old divided by old times 100%. Okay, so um, if we use this formula and we're allowed to use a calculator, it's much faster. But the way the book does it is it does it step by step. It'll first look for the difference and then it'll divide before you multiply by 100. So whatever you're comfortable with, that's what you want to do. Now, if there's lead-on questions, then you have no choice. You need to follow and answer the lead-on questions. So we have to recall that um, our process of equivalent fractions, again, is still very helpful here. So we saw some in the earlier lesson and we'll continue to see more. Okay, and again, in the last lesson, I said to be consistent, we want to put the percent inside the bar. Okay, so in this lesson, I'll be discussing three problems. We'll start with page 113. So on page 113, problem 1B says, the usual price of a ticket for to the two conservatories at Garden by the Bay is $20. Yi Xuan buys one ticket at a discount of 12%. How much does she pay for that discounted ticket? Okay, so now the bar model here, the way that they did it is a little bit confusing, so I'll change so that it makes more sense. So we have the usual price and the discounted price. So this, the usual price, is 100%. Okay, and then it says that this is $20 because that's the usual price. Okay, and then the discounted price is discounted by 12%. So if it's discounted by 12%, that's 12%, which means this must be 88%. The question is, what is the discounted price? So the discounted price must be that. Okay, so the book does it as 100% minus blank equals blank. So the blank first is the 12%, which means this is 88%. Okay, then the book says the discounted price is 88% of the usual price. Makes sense. Okay, then blank percent of blank equals. So that means 88% of $20 is 88% times $20. So again, these lines are provided for, so we have no choice but to fill it out. But when we multiply that, put it in the calc as decimal times 20, that should give us $17.60. Okay, so that's the book approach. If I do my approach, it would have been 100% is $20, which means 88% is blank, question mark. So clearly here, this is divide by 5. So if I divide it by 5, I should divide by 5 as well. And when I do, I will or I should get $17.60 as well. Now, another problem that's the same thought process is on page 118. So on page 118, it says, this is 3B. It says the number of visitors in Singapore in January was 1,412,000. The number of visitors in February was 1,334,900. Find the percentage decrease in the number of visitors from January to February. And it says, give your answer to the nearest whole number. So which means when we're looking 
for the value in the calculator, we need to round to the nearest whole. Okay, so which means this is January, this is February. Okay, so this in January is 1,412,000. In February, it's 1,334,900. Okay, so what it wants is the percent decrease. So that's technically what we're looking for. So if we follow the book, the book starts with decrease equals 1412,000. Four nine zero zero. So this is the blank. This is given. Okay. So if we subtract that, that's seventy-seven thousand one hundred. Okay. Then it says percent decrease equals. So if we take the percent decrease, that's seven seven one zero zero divided by one four one two zero 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 times. 100. Okay, if we put that in our calculator, this is percent, if we put that in our calculator, that says 5.4 something something something. But what we want is round to the nearest whole number. So that means this is 5%. Now, if we do it my approach, percent change would be New one three three four zero 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 nine hundred sorry nine hundred minus one four one two zero 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 divided by one four one two zero 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 times one hundred percent. So again, if we put that in our calculators, our calculator will give us a negative five point four which means it's a decrease because it's a negative change. So if you do my single formula, it will either be a positive, which means it's an increase. And if it's a negative, that means it's a decrease, but the same value as a percent. So that means this is a decrease of 5%. Continuing on to page 119, I will discuss one more problem, and it says, in number four, uh, the usual price of a necklace was $399. Miss Lowe paid $59.85 less than, less for the necklace after a discount. Question is, what was the percentage discount given to Miss Lowe? Okay, so I don't even understand what they're trying to put in the book so I'll just do it my version so this is normal price discounted price the normal price is $399 okay and then the discounted price and this was the discount and since she paid $59.85 less then that means this is the 59.85 is the discount. Okay, so the question is, what was the percentage discount given to her? Okay, so which means again, for me, this will be 100%. So equivalent fraction approach would be ideal. So 100% is equal to $399. This is now the question, how many percent? And this is $59.85. Okay, so clearly from here to here, that's times 3.99, which means to get from here to here, I need to multiply by the same 3.99. But I'm not going forward. I'm going backwards. So if I have to go backwards, I would have to 59.85 divided by 3.99. And when I do put that in the calculator, I should get 15%, which means the discount given to her was 15%. 
that concludes lesson two of chapter four. I'll see you in the next lesson.